What's up guys? I'm here with the best mechanic in the world, Craig. Hey guys. Craig, uh, they've seen you, maybe they've seen you in a couple videos, kind of behind the scenes. Craig's been yeah. do, doing a lot of work on the bikes. You're gonna, you might see a lot of more Craig. We're gonna fill you guys in on the top five things, there might be more, things that you need to be doing to your bike to winterize it. First thing I would do is clean it. Make sure it's nice and clean, keep it clean. Lube your chain if you have a chain. Check your tire pressures, maybe overflate your tires a couple pounds to help them from flat spotting. With metal tanks, condensation is what you have to worry about. So I always recommend you fill your gas tank all the way, get the air spots out, put some fuel treatment in, store it like that for the winter. That way uh, when you go to ride in spring, you don't have a rusty gas tank. If you don't have non-ethanol fuel in there, I'd recommend putting non-ethanol fuel in there, but if you don't have non-ethanol fuel, put fuel stabilizer in there. A fuel stabilizer is going to... It stops the ethanol and it'll help collect the water. Like K100, they burn water. That's their thing, burns water. Mm -hmm. it'll, and, and ethanol collects moisture and water. Treat the fuel and, and after you treat it, make sure you run your bike to get it through your fuel system. You know, you want it in your carburetors, you want it in the flow poles. I don't like to drain my flow poles for winter. I like to have treated fuel in the bowls and then that will help preserve them, uh, in my opinion. That, that keeps the, the residue from, from getting flaky and dusty and, and clogging up the, the carburetor. That was gonna be my next question. Do you drain the flow poles? I don't. Yeah, but, I, but you, I so, nothing but trouble so, with so, so, so what he's saying is when you put the fuel treatment in there, ride the bike for like 10 miles. Make sure that the fuel treatment has gotten in the yeah. carburetor, in the flow bowl, because yep. that's what's gonna keep it, that's, what it's, that's what's gonna keep it good. Yeah. Also, you wanna put your bike on a battery tender. If you do not have a battery tender, they say the average motorcycle battery can last four years. Without a battery tender, what, a year? I, I'm, dude, I, even, even with having them on a tender, sometimes I'm seeing them last two years. Right. Two years, so. But a, put, a battery tender's just gonna, it's definitely gonna make it last long. Absolutely, I put tenders on everything. And when you need to fire it up, you're gonna have those, what do they, they call them, Indian summer days? Yeah. You're gonna have one of those Indian summer days where it's like, it was 20 and now it's 50 and you're acting like it's 80 and you're gonna jump on your bike and go riding out and you wanna, when you jump on your bike, you wanna make sure you have, you know, 100%. 100% battery power. Want to start. One of the things I, I don't like to do is change oil before I let it sit for a winter. Same reason, if it's not in a climate controlled garage or area, what will happen is the condensation from warming up and cooling off through the, through the temps will put condensation in the motor. So I recommend you leave your oil in over the winter, pull it out in spring, change your oil, change your fluids, check everything before you go on your first ride. And then if, if you're not gonna start the bike up every once in a while, you know what, better to start the bike up every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. You know, if just, just all right, Saturday, make it a part of your routine. Saturday, go in there, pull it out of the garage, park at a little different spot, fire the bike up, let it run a little bit. It's made the run, you wanna do that. You know, that that's also gonna stop anything from making its home inside of your motorcycle yeah, that's a by one. moving the bike. If, if an animal knows it's gonna be sitting there for the next four months and you don't move it, you know what I mean? And th that could really eat up, that can mess up the electronics. And I've seen bikes with mice, and rat's nests and oh, stuff yeah. in there. And it, oh, yeah. it can really mess up stuff that you're gonna be dealing with problems for you know a long time after. Yeah, and, and when you do get it out to warm it, make sure it gets good and hot. Take it for a ride or, 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 or let it sit and run for a while that it gets good and hot, goes through a heat cycle. Uh, that way you're not just building up condensation in the motor. And two, especially in fuel injected bikes, what's happening is I've seen it a lot on Harleys. Just had it yesterday actually on a 2018 Polaris four-wheeler fuel injected. If it's not running through a heat cycle, the fuel injection is going to keep it in a, in like the, basically like a choke, you know, the, the high idle is going to be on and you need that to get off or you're gonna start fouling plugs. plugs. Yeah. All right guys, that wraps it up. This is Craig, he's the mechanic. He knows everything about everything. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll try to answer them. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.